Welcome to this SEO Library webinar, Placing a Hold. Being able to place holds on items allows you and your patrons access to over 8 million items in the SEO Consortium catalog. Let's put that number in a different perspective. If those items were people, it would equal the entire population of New York City. Isn't that amazing? So let's open our portal to those items and learn how to find items and place holds in Symfony Workflows. To place a hold for your user in Workflows, open the Place Hold Wizard, which is located in the Common Tasks Wizard group in the Circulation module. If you have a patron requesting a title, especially if they're standing right in front of you, before searching for the item, I recommend either scanning your patron's card or searching for them by name. This will alert you immediately if your patron has any blocks on their account that would prohibit them from placing a hold. To search for your patron by name, click on the User Search Helper located in the upper left side of the workspace. This search defaults to a name browse search, so you will need to type the last name, then the first name, and hit enter on your keyboard or click search. Choose the patron from the list below and click place hold for this user. I have my patron's card, so I'm going to scan it now. As you can see, our patron has an alert saying that their account needs attention but they're still able to place holds. If they were blocked, I would have to enter the universal override. From half of the workspace, you can see that the software is wanting me to enter an item ID for the item I want to place on hold, but I really need to search by title. So back up at the top of the page, I'll click on the item search helper. A new window will open. It's in this window that I will search for the title. It defaults to a title browse search, but I like searching by general keyword, so I'm going to change that now. And enter in my search terms. I can see my title in the results pane below. I can use the description tab to see more information about the title, and the call number and item tab displays the items attached to that title. Let me just point out, at this time, I don't have a certain copy that I want. Even though the system defaults to have an item highlighted, if I even attempt to highlight the title, my place hold button at the bottom of the screen grays out and becomes inactive. So I have to click on a barcode. And now I can click the place hold button. This does not mean that I have completed my hold reservation. This screen just lets me select the title I want. When I click that button, it takes me back to the Place Hold Wizard workspace. You will see in the middle of the page that it populated a title and below it, added an item ID. We still aren't done placing our hold. I must click the place hold button on the bottom of this screen to complete the hold process. In the confirmation window that opens, we can go on to another user, place more holds for the current user, remove the hold, modify the hold, or just close, which will close the placeholder wizard. 
I'm going to choose Place Another Hold for this user because I want to show you more options available within the Place Holds wizard. Let's look at the Hold Info section. I can change the pickup location by using the drop down. The hold will expire in nine months, meaning my patron, if needed, would stay on the list for nine months. I can add comments or special instructions. These will only be seen if the library chooses to display the comments field on their hold slip. Notice the date suspended field and the date unsuspended fields. These are used if a patron knows that they will be away, for example, vacation, or they already have six books checked out and they know it will take them a little while to read them, so they want to hold off on receiving this new one. To suspend a hold, click on the gadget to enter the date they are leaving and the date they are returning. will preserve their hold, but during that time, it will not trap the hold for them. The next section is very important, the level or range of the hold. It defaults to the title level hold. This means that your patron will take any copy attached to this title. We recommend that you leave the hold as a title level hold your patron will receive the first available copy. If you change the hold to a copy level hold, your patron will be waiting on that specific copy when there could be five other copies sitting on the shelf somewhere. Another thing to explain about title level versus copy level holds. If you own a copy of a title and your patrons place holds on this title, your patron will receive your item before it goes to any other libraries. You do not have to place a copy specific hold for this to happen. Leave the hold as a title level hold. Let me show you a way that you can gauge where your patron is on the hold queue. Open the checkout wizard and search for your patron. And right click on the title that they have on hold. Choose display item. Then click on the Holds sub-tab. We can see a list of all the people on hold for this title. You can find your patron's name, click on their name, and their position in the hold queue will display on the right side of the screen. But we want to see how many of our patrons are on the list. So to limit by my library, look at the bottom of the page. I can change what displays by clicking on the drop down next to the word library. I can choose my library three letter code. Now just my library's holds display. If my library owns a copy, these patrons will receive top privilege to that item. Now if another library has a copy and no one on hold, their copy could go to one of these patrons. That's the beauty of placing a title level hold. But can you think of a time that maybe you would want to place a copy specific hold on a certain barcode? How about when you're requesting 
a certain magazine issue or you have an item that you know is damaged and it needs to come back directly to your library. Then you can place a copy specific hold. You or your patron would then receive that specific copy with that specific barcode. Thank you for watching this SEO library webinar on placing a hold. If you have any further questions, please contact the SEO library 